Hey guys, what's going on? This is MyG2 and others, and today we're going to be looking at the top five games that have come out recently for iOS devices. So let's go ahead and check it out. Starting with number five is Transformers Age of Extinction. This is a pretty new game, and it's based off the new Transformers movie that's going to come out. And it's a very basic game. It's kind of like a running game. Actually, it is a running game. And you try to take out... Uh, other transformers with your transformer and you get to transform into a car uh, to go faster and you can transform back to your form when you want to shoot people so just like this you can shoot people um, and then you can slash them with your uh, melee attack and if you try to run away from them they're gonna be faster than you and they're gonna chase you with their car. And also you try to get those blue orbs to get more points. And you really got to time it right to get the enemies just when they're coming at you. And you know, it gets pretty hectic the longer you play. So, mission complete. Alright, this next game is called Bombshells, and it's a very new, very popular game on iOS. Alright, this next game is called Bombshells, and it's a fine game that's been getting a lot of praise for how fun it is and it's a very popular game so let's go ahead and check it out so we got full volume just making sure the interesting thing about this game is you only get to pick female characters as the you know main characters it's really interesting because usually you get to pick only males and then maybe females but here it's only females, so yeah, not a, not a very sexist uh, game. Okay, so we're going through a little tutorial here. That's kind of good to show you guys that, just to see what you guys are going to be going through. So we do have the accelerometer on, so I'm going to be moving the phone a little bit. You know what, I'll just turn it off actually just for demonstration purposes. And when you fire, it kind of like zooms in onto your cannons, which is really cool. And the game has pretty good graphics, not amazing. I mean, we've seen better from other titles, but it's a really fun game, and I like the water graphics. They look pretty nice. All right, got him with the cannons. Oh. Not so good at this game. It's actually easier to play with the accelerometer. Usually it's not.
Alright, this next game is called Trials Frontier, and I think it kind of tries to mimic the Trials games for the Xbox that have come out for the arcade on the Xbox. And but this game has more of a like a story to it, so it's pretty cool, and it does have a lot of similar similarities to the Xbox version. So let's go ahead and skip that and get to the action. It's got very good physics and everything, and very good graphics also. And it's got the whole whole ragdoll physics also, just like in a Xbox version. So this next game is called Republic and it's one of the most interesting games on iOS right now. It's very very popular. It's getting a lot of praise for how awesome it is. And it's got great great graphics. I'm sure it has even better graphics on the iPhone 5S. I have an iPod Touch uh, 5G here so I'm pretty sure the graphics are toned down a little bit just so it can run smoothly on this thing. But even with the graphics toned down, the graphics are you know pretty nice. So let's go ahead and play it. And it's like a story based type of um, story based stealthy type of uh, game. It's very nice. And you get to uh, purchase seasons also. Uh, which is kind of a letdown. I wish you could just buy the buy whole game for like two bucks without having to buy separate episodes. So it's like got this whole Illuminati type of story to it. Who defaced the pages of this manifesto? This is a disaster. There's a lot of mystery to the game, you have to figure out puzzles and all that stuff. How do I get out of this? <laughs> okay. All the buttons are so small. This is poison. Who fed you this poison? It was the librarian, wasn't it? That snake. How did nobody see these being distributed? Cooper, get us some water. Sovereign water from the commissary. Oh, oh, I get to control it. So let's look around the room. Any clues? Right here, I guess something. Nope. Well, I don't want to show you more because that would be... Alright guys, so for the last game, it's Jet Car Stunts 2. And this is actually my favorite game on iOS. The first one I beat uh, fully, and that's the first iOS game that I ever beat fully. And that's actually the only game I've ever beat fully. So, this is uh, one of those games that are so unique and so addicting that I had to play all of it. So, let's go ahead and play the game. And I really love this game because it's, you know, it's not... Hard, it's hard and really challenging, but not to the point of where you're gonna give up. It's uh, it's challenging, but not, you know, not too challenging. 
So you start off with all the easy levels and then you go to medium and then hard and stuff like that. Alright guys, so thank you for watching this review. Go ahead and make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. See you guys later.